Art Fair Confidential, the Be in the Know podcast for the art curious. Join the creators of Art Expo New York and Spectrum Miami Art Fairs as they delve into the passions of art collectors, the creative spirit of artists, the how-tos of a successful art business, and the importance of art in today's world with interviews, discussions, and collaborations. Sponsored by Art Business News. So what brought us to this event is that we actually have an affinity to this city. Santa Fe is a very special city. We know that it's art-centric, it's all about artists, and so we definitely wanted to be part of it. And so then we heard about the show and we contacted them and went through their process. And um, I'm the project manager for Art by Paul Martin, so it's my job to look for opportunities and our relationship with the organizers have been great. Because we are new and I'm new in this space, um, I found them to be very easy to work with. They gave me so much information, the dashboard full of resources. So I actually felt that um, they were hand holding me through the process. They're easily to reach. You can email them, call them. And so you really feel like they're there to support you. And I kind of feel like I got like a crash course on this whole space. I mean, they had like a curriculum, how to, how to price, you know, your artwork, how to organize everything. And then, like I mentioned, me, some, someone being new into this space, I was a little nervous. And so I feel really like reassured and confident. So, so far it's been a really good um, relationship. Well, just being new in the environment, it's really good to find people that are encouraging. So definitely, I feel like it's a community that really encourages you. Um, they will give you a little bit constructive criticism, but it's all in, with the heart of helping you out. So I definitely um, found that here. All right. Well, definitely, it is a show that I see the numbers. So we, we're getting a lot of um, guests. Um, there is a lot of promotion and marketing behind it. I have heard people say, oh, I saw this um, advertised. So there's definitely a lot of advertisement being made so you know that you're going to get guests. And then, like I mentioned, just a hand-holding on how to post, how to market yourself and the whole show and how to invite people. So they, they like hand-hold you from A through Z. So I think that's um, um, very um, valuable. Well, I, I call my style psychic automatistic, meaning that I create something from nothing. And um, so I don't have an inspiration per se. I simply start with an idea that comes randomly into my head, and my whole series of what I call uh, u- uh, multicolored universes uh, came from just being in my studio one day and uh, deciding I wanted to do some really large works, uh, and I came up with it the size of six and a half feet by six and a half feet just randomly again, and so I got three canvases, started, I painted the first one uh, dark blue, and again, that was just random, um, and then I decided to put it on the floor, because I didn't know what to do, what I was going to do with it at that point, and I put it on the floor, and then I thought, well, I'm going to start throwing paint on this. So I started throwing paint, and after a little while, it started looking like the universe. So then, <laughs> that's how I evolved into this whole series of these uni- multi, what I called multicolored universes, which uh, now include uh, these uh, three-dimensional pieces that you can see here and up there, and uh, and then I'll, I'll, I've also transitioned into clothing, uh, pocket squares, and and scarves, and we'll do other types of clothing as well. So it's been an ongoing uh, exploration of what the possibilities could be in t- taking this out further and further into the universe, if you will. Yeah, yeah. no, the show's is great. Uh, it's, it's fun to be with all the artists here and see the great artwork that everybody's doing. I've even bought a couple of pieces myself, so and that's one of the things I do in addition to making art, I buy art. and. Uh, I'm often inspired by other people, but I, I've, I don't think I've ever made anything that that um, inspired me specifically to make a, a certain work of art. Again, uh, this psychic automatism comes from, uh, Freud talks about it a little bit. It's the no- idea of creating something from nothing where you're not inspired per se, you're just the, a, an idea comes into your head. So that's, that's how I do it. And uh, thanks to you guys for putting together a great show. Listen to more of the Art Fair Confidential podcasts at redwoodartgroup.com forward slash podcasts. And we'd love to hear your feedback as well as suggestions for new topics. Just drop us a note at info at redwoodartgroup.com or click on the comments box at the bottom of the podcast website page. Remember to stay in the know. Join us next time for more Art Fair Confidential.